Hey Diamonds and welcome back to Diamonds Living Lovely. Today I'm going to be showing you my new foundation routine and I'm calling this my flawless foundation application without the use of corrective concealer. Now some of us, like myself, we have a few blemishes that we want to cover. But we don't always have time during the day to go through and hit every blemish before we get out the door and we have to go on about our daily schedule. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy foundation routine that you can do day after day and your face will look flawless, blemishless, and beautiful. So you're going to need a few things. First, you're going to need three different brushes. You're going to need a stippling brush. You can also use a buffer brush if you choose. I prefer to use a stippling brush. And this one is by Real Techniques. And you're also going to need a fluffy powder brush or a fluffy foundation brush like this one. And this is just a no-name brand that I picked up from Kmart. And then you're just going to need a, either a kabuki brush, a fluffy powder kabuki brush, or any fluffy powder brush that you might have on hand. And you're also going to need your primer. This is at a very important part. And today I'm going to be using my Pore Professional by Benefit Cosmetics. I love this primer. And then, of course, your foundation. And you want to get a really good foundation for your skin type. That's important. If you're dry, you might not want to get a mattifying foundation because that's just going to make you more dry. If you're oily, you don't want to get a foundation that's oil-based or that's going to give you a dewy finish because it's just going to make you look more oily and then you'll walk around looking like a grease face nobody wants to see that so make sure you're getting a foundation that's suitable for your skin and the one I'm combination mostly oily in my t-zone and dry around these areas so the foundation of my choice is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Longwear Flawless Fluid Makeup and it looks like this and I love that it comes in a glass bottle for great upkeep and yeah so this is an awesome foundation and I definitely recommend it if you can find it in your store you can definitely pick this up at Nordstrom's and this is where I got mine Nordstrom's that's where I got it and you're also going to need a setting powder if you have combination of oily skin like myself now if you have dry skin then skip this step don't set your foundation you know it is just gonna make you more dry but the setting powder that I'm gonna use today is the NYC smooth skin loose face powder and it looks like this yeah let's see if I can get you a good view of that for you so yeah it looks like that and Let's go ahead and begin. So now I'm going to take my primer and I'm going to go ahead and dot that all over my face, my nose, make sure I hit the T-zone especially. You don't need much, just enough to get the areas that you're most oily. You really don't need it all over your face, just those areas where you have enlarged pores and oily areas. And those areas that you might get breakouts often. And then if you have extra, then just blend it to the rest of your face. And you just want to let this sit on your face for a couple minutes, maybe a minute or so. Just let it sink in. 
you know? But in the interest of time, I'm gonna go ahead and start my foundation application. So I'm gonna take my foundation, I'm just gonna put a few pumps on the back of my hand, about two pumps. And of course, if you're working on a client, you wanna use a sanitized, uh, you know, little pan, you don't wanna use the back of your hand. So now I'm gonna take my stippling brush and get it all on there and start to stipple it onto my face. And surprisingly, this makeup smells really good. <laughs> surprisingly. So now I'm just stippling it onto my face. I don't know why this makeup smells so good, but it does. It's crazy. And already my face is looking better. Already, it's crazy. Now I'm hitting up those blemishes and I'm just doing these motions around the blemishes. Very lightly. Making sure I blend near the hairline. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with this brush and it is a Soho brush. I said it was no name, but it's sort of no name because most people haven't heard of it. But now I'm gonna go in with this brush and I'm gonna do my second layer. And I'm just gonna really just stipple this on. Or buff this into the skin using patting motions. And you do not need to put much foundation in the areas where you don't have any blemishes. So just kind of do these motions in those areas, which for me is like around my forehead. I don't really have many blemishes in that area. <laughs> the, blood, the brush is shedding a little bit. That's what happens with those no-name brushes. All brushes shed, but some shed more than others. Okay. So, get in the grooves of your nose. Now you want to start to do circular motions, especially around your jawline, to really and down your neck a little bit, like under your chin, I should say. Circular motions around your eyes to really uh, blend in that foundation. Because you want it to look really natural. Okay. And what I'm doing now is I'm just using the foundation to hit up those blemishes. And uh, really get coverage on those blemishes. And blend out 
everything else. So, when you're not explaining this on camera, it shouldn't take you more than a couple of minutes to do this. It really shouldn't. really should not take you more than a couple of minutes to do this and the reason it's taking me longer is because my brush is shedding and the hairs are getting all over my face <laughs> but absolutely make sure you get the, the the major blemishes the ones that show the most and for me it's on this cheek a little bit over here not so much over here and when you're covering blemishes you want to make sure to press in lightly don't swirl just press in lightly because you're trying to cover not blend okay and blend out everywhere else around the hairline that's where you blend under the chin that's where you're doing your circular motion around your mouth in those areas okay now after you've done that see now all the blemishes are covered your face is looking flawless it's beautiful now you want to go in with your setting powder and again, I'm just going to put that, put some in the top. And I'm going I'm to take my Kabuki brush and get some on it. Tap off the excess. And I don't want to swirl. You want to pat, 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 pat. Ooh, I got some in my nose. Pat, 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 pat. pat. Pat, 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 pat. Because you want to set it, so you should pat everywhere. And then after you've pat it, then you can dust off the excess. And I recommend doing this before you put on your clothes so you don't make a mess of your clothes. <laughs> like I'm doing right now. And of course yours will look better than mine because your face won't be peeling like mine is because I'm using Albaji. Right now I'm just kind of boom, make sure it's well blended into my hairline. And there you have it. That is your flawless foundation routine. Now you can go ahead and contour, do your eyes, your eyebrows, your hair, and everything else you want to do. But yeah, this is it. I'm looking good already. Oh, got that bare face going on. Yeah. Yes. Mwah. Well, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.